Hi guys, the is Mike here at Mac Observer, and today I'll show you how to add your Apple account card to wallet on iPhone. Welcome to the digital age, where conducting transactions using your mobile device is as essential as carrying a physical wallet. A key player in this convenience revolution is Apple, and today, we are going to discuss one of the handy features they offer. Apple Account Card in the Wallet App Apple Account Card, a virtual card in your wallet app, is a significant stride towards digitizing financial transactions in Apple's ecosystem. This card showcases your Apple account balance, which can be used to purchase accessories, apps, games, products, songs on Apple Music and more, online from the App Store or in-store with Apple Pay. Notably, it presents a departure from iTunes Pass in Wallet. While iTunes Pass could also be used to view your Apple account balance and make purchases, Apple Account Card raises the bar, allowing for integration with Apple Pay for a smoother transaction experience. Before you can add and use an Apple Account Card in your wallet, you need to meet two key requirements. Your iPhone must run iOS 15.5 or later. Your Apple Account should have a balance. If you don't have any funds in your account, you won't be able to add the card. You can add funds to your account balance using your credit card or by redeeming an App Store or Apple Store gift card. Adding the Apple Account Card to your wallet is straightforward. Here's how. Open the Wallet app on your iPhone, tap on the Add Card button, then select Add Apple Account. Enter all the details necessary, then your Apple Account Card will appear in your wallet, ready to use with Apple Pay and App Store and more. Once you have added the Apple Account Card to your wallet, using it is a breeze. You can use it in a physical Apple Store or for online purchases. Whether you're buying apps, subscriptions, media, or other Apple products, your account card is there to facilitate the transaction. You can also view the details of your card anytime by tapping on the Apple Account Card and then the More button in the top right corner. Once you've added your Apple Account Card to your wallet, your Apple Account Balance can be used for in-app purchases easily. When you're about to make a purchase, simply choose Apple Pay as your payment method. If you have enough balance in your Apple account, the cost will be deducted from there automatically. Moreover, take a look at how to apply daily cash to your Apple Card. The Wallet app offers options to manage your Apple account card efficiently. By selecting the card and tapping the More button, you can view card details or remove the card if you no longer need it. At times, you may face issues when adding or using your Apple account card. Here are some common problems and how to solve them. Ensure you meet the requirements mentioned before. Your iPhone must run iOS 15.5 or later. Your Apple account should have a balance. If you don't have any funds in your account, you won't be able to add the card. You can add funds to your account balance using your credit card or by redeeming an App Store or Apple Store gift card. If your iOS version is lower than 15.5 or your Apple account doesn't have any funds, you won't be able to add the card. For more solutions, check out our guide on what to do if you can't add a card to Apple Wallet. The Apple Card is available only in certain countries or regions. If it's not available in your location, you might not be able to add it to your wallet. If your Apple Account Card is not showing up in your wallet, ensure that you are running iOS 15.5 or later, as it is a requirement for this feature. Additionally, check to make sure you have a balance in your Apple Account, as you won't be able to add the card without funds. If you meet both these criteria and still have issues, try signing out of your Apple ID and signing back in, or try restarting your device. If the problem persists, contact Apple support for further assistance. If you're having trouble adding your Apple account balance to your wallet, there could be several reasons. Firstly, ensure that you're running iOS 15.5 or later, and that you have a balance in your Apple account. If these conditions are met and you're still having problems, it might be an issue with your Apple ID. Try logging out and logging back in. If this doesn't resolve the issue, it might be a temporary server issue with Apple, and it's recommended to try again later. If the problem continues, consider reaching out to Apple support. In the digital landscape of Apple's ecosystem, both the Apple Account Card and the iTunes Pass have served as tools for managing your account balance and facilitating purchases. However, they differ significantly in their functionalities, making them suitable for different usage scenarios. The iTunes Pass is a feature that allows you to add funds directly to your Apple ID account, which you can then use to pay for App Store purchases, iCloud storage, and more. It was particularly handy for those who wish to avoid using credit or debit cards for their transactions. Your iTunes Pass works as a way to pay for physical product purchases at Apple's retail stores. 
However, the process involves selecting the iTunes Pass in your wallet, then holding up your iPhone for the store clerk to scan the QR code printed on the Pass, making it somewhat cumbersome. The Apple Account Card, on the other hand, represents an evolution of the concept. While also displaying your Apple Account balance, it goes a step further by integrating directly with Apple Pay, thereby streamlining the process of making purchases both online and in-store. Instead of having to scan a QR code, you can use your Apple Account Card with Apple Pay, like any other debit or credit card in your wallet. This makes the Apple Account Card a much more efficient and seamless way to manage and spend your Apple Account balance. Don't forget to like and subscribe at Mac Observer for more intuitive guides, tips, and Apple news. This is Mike here. See you next time.